Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are once again talking about quail, but today we're going to talk about raising quail for meat. Now, full disclosure, I don't do this. I want to show you the quail, but the cat's on the thing. Hey, man. Anyway, I don't raise my quail for meat. I do sell quail to people, bait young quail, to people who raise them so that they can butcher them for meat. I do not process my own quail. I don't process my own chickens. Okay? I, I don't do that. But I do raise some of them specifically so that they will be processed for meat by other people. So I'm not a stranger to raising them for this purpose. I really want to open this. Can you get down? One, two, three, peek. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> they tickle me pink here. They're pretty funny. Anyway, if I go over here and talk for a little bit, they'll start coming out because they uh, like people. There's some noise over there. Hi, guys. Anyway, so if you're going to raise them for meat, I've had people ask, why bother? They're so little. Yeah, they are small, but actually that doesn't matter because of the other pros that there are. There are really a lot of reasons to raise them for meat. First of all is the time to incubate. From the time you put an egg into the incubator to the day it hatches is only 17 days. Then they go from hatched to laying in six weeks. They go from hatched to ready to process in eight to 10 weeks. That is way faster than your chickens. Your chickens can, depending on the breed, can take months. So these guys are ready to be processed in just a few weeks. It's really insane. Once they're processed, yeah, if you're having a meal, you would need one quail per person you're feeding. I mean, look at them. They're small. So you would need one quail per person. So if you have a family of four and you're planning to have quail for dinner, you need four quail. So if you're having one meal a week and you have a family of four, you need 16 quail a week. But they're actually really, really easy to hatch, these guys, and they grow up so fast. Okay, they're ready in no time at all. So you could actually easily have 16 quail a month just for you and your family that you process and um, have for dinner because it's just that easy to raise them. They're really fast, really easy. They don't require as much space as chicken food, as chickens, and it's not that hard to feed them. You shouldn't feed them regular chicken feed. You should feed them something with at least 25% protein, especially if you're raising them for meat. But you can get that at your feed store. Ask around. I'm sure there's a feed store in your area that sells that. Um, the only thing you need to do if you're raising exclusively for meat, you might want to also consider that you're kind of also raising for eggs. So I'm going to link back to that video as well. But the reason I say that is because if you're raising for meat, you're going to want to hatch some, okay? Because if you just, you could buy them, I suppose, but you're going to probably end up hatching your own, which is adorable because uh, quail chicks are cute. I'll talk about quail hatching in a different video. Hi, guys. It's quail time. <laughs> anyway. That was funny. Um, so the only other thing you probably want to do is hatch them. You do want to hatch some of your eggs. Hi, guys. Hi. Quail time. So you're probably going to end up hatching some of your own eggs. You could just buy young quail, but you'll probably end up hatching. So what are the negatives? Okay, the negatives versus raising chickens for meat instead. Most breeds of chicken are actually pretty good free rangers. They'll forage for their own food. They'll free range like there's no tomorrow. They're happy to do that. You can't do that with quail. One, you can't free range them because quail are completely insane. Okay, they do not come home. Once they get out, they're gone. All right, if these guys get out of here, they're gonna run away. They run away from home. We don't have too much trouble catching them actually to be fair it when usually it's me who lets them out and my son gets mad at me but we don't usually have that much trouble i'm just gonna go over here and check on everyone else so we don't have a lot of trouble with escaping quail because they come back pretty regularly hi guys but it's still not they still can't free range it still absolutely sucks okay that's that's not they're not good for free ranging and they also are not good at foraging. Like they're terrible at foraging for their own food. A lot of times you'll put freaking mealworms 
And mealworms won't even be any good for them. Okay? So, they won't eat them. That is the problem. That's what happened to me. I put mealworms. I put mealworms in. And the mealworms didn't, uh, weren't attractive to the quail. The quail just kind of stood there. Some of the quail ran away. Okay, so... Hi, Sam. Yeah, some of the uh, guys ran away. Some of the quail ran away from the mealworms, which is stupid. Okay, everything looks good here, except we do have a hole in the fence, but whatever, I don't care. Yeah, Arwen is technically in the fence, so it's fine. Anyway, um, so they, they do need to be fed. They're not going to free range for their own food. They're not going to forage. Hi, sweetheart Lily. Okay, they're just not going to. So because they're not going to do that, you do have to feed them. And you do have to coop them. They can't. They can't handle yeah. anything else. Yes. Okay, they can't. They just can't do it. Yeah. Um, you're also going to either need an incubator or to purchase chicks. You're probably yeah. going to end up incubating, like I said before. Hi, sweetie. So when it comes to quail, that's really the downside is you can't free range them. Yeah. Okay, you simply can't. This guy's back again. I thought he was, she was gone, now she's back. I don't know where she came from. Anyway, <laughs> that is about it for raising quail for meat. I am going to say, if you do decide to do this, no, I'm not going to tell you how to process them. I'm going to tell you to go to a professional. Get someone to help you process them who's actually good at it. Okay? Do not try to do it yourself if you haven't done it. Get someone to teach you or get someone else to do it. Whatever you want, either way, but seriously, just like with chickens, please, if you've never done it, don't try. Yes, Arwen, baby. Yes, tap, tap. I love you, too. Okay, I'll pet you. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to say goodbye for today, and little baby Arwen will probably see you tomorrow. Bye now.